All right, what we're looking at here is the Omron Fat Loss Monitor. A uh, very simple tool that I use. Nothing's 100% accurate. I think the underwater scale is the best way to measure body fat from what I've heard, but they're very expensive. You also have calipers, uh, which you have to be consistent with and how you apply them to get good results. And it's also very painstaking and it's not a lot of fun trying to get nine different uh, pieces of flab on somebody uh, in a gym setting or wherever you're trying to measure their body fat. So this is very convenient. I use this tool, but let's see where I am here. I'm gonna hit the on button. I'm gonna hit set for guest. I'm gonna give myself the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna say I'm an athlete, because you see me on here. I've got to consider myself an athlete. I'm here five, six days a week posting crazy videos. So we'll say I'm an athlete. I'll say I'm 5'8", too. I might be like 5'7 and 4 fifths or something like that. Wait, I won't lie. I'm 165. Forty-five years old, male. Here we go. And I'm gonna extend my arms out. Should have it level to the to the body. You can't see it here, but I've got I've got this thing extended out. Uh, result says fourteen point three percent body fat. And uh, let's look at a picture. Here I was uh, a while back. On the right, that's me, 2013, about 155 pounds, 12% body fat. On the left, I think that's the year 2000. I didn't have an Omron back then, but I was drinking enough beer and eating enough pizza, feeling good about myself that I felt look like I looked like I did on the right. But uh, if I'd had an Omron back then, maybe I would have cut down on the beer and the pizza. So the picture on the right, back then I was doing about, I was running about 10, 12 miles a week, uh, doing some weights, some lighter squats, some calisthenics. I got on uh, the Wendler program. Uh, here's the deal. I put on probably uh, four pounds of muscle because I'm looking at that picture. If I'm 12%, 155, subtract that out, you come down about 136, and now I'm about 14, 15% at 165, 140. So about a year of lifting and eating a little bit more, I put on four pounds of muscle. But this Omron right here is telling me that the bulk is over pretty much. So a couple basic points at 45, at about 15% body fat, I actually put on about four pounds of muscle. Now for you Arnold wannabes out there, four pounds might not seem like much when you're talking about muscle, but if you take this beef here and you put a little in your quads and in your glutes and in your upper body, you will start moving a lot more iron. But this thing is telling me that whatever bulk I was on, it should be over. I don't need to, to put on a lot of weight right now. I don't need to start eating even more food uh, while I'm working out. I just need to make sure my protein intake is pretty good and pay more attention to what I lift. Now, if I can lift more weight at 165, if I can get my, my deadlift up another 15, 20, 30 pounds, if I get my squat up, if I get my bench up, this thing will read that I have a lower body fat measurement because I will be building muscle. I'll be lifting heavier weights. Uh, I don't need to get up to, to 180, 185. I wear a size eight and a half shoe. I'm a smaller framed person. Uh, the muscle I have uh, is the muscle that fits on my frame. If I can put on four or five pounds more, I don't know if I can at this age. Uh, that's why I don't really think it's time to, to bulk up. I, I did my bulk. Uh, let's see what I can do within this uh, weight. Uh, you know, anybody, you know, keep track of your, your body fat. There's no need to ping pong 30 or 40 pounds thinking you're going to chisel away some uh, great physique by putting on a lot of weight and then losing a lot of weight. Better to pay attention to what you can lift uh, because if your lifts go up, you will put on muscle. And that's my opinion. Let me know what your opinions are. I'll catch you all later.